Good afternoon YouTube, this is Zubair Ahmed Sharif with uh, another video log. This is the third video log in the uh, you know topic of ethanol. So the first two videos already posted and they have generated uh, you know a uh, lot of like, likes and you know a lot of comments on that and it, they have crossed more than two lakhs on one and one and a half lakh on another video. Okay now this is the third video, I am actually covering HP. So in HP I will cover the normal fuel and the H, uh, power 100. Okay, so the power 100 is supposed to be ethanol free, so which we are going to test it out. Okay, so I'm not going to take the phone inside while filling the fuel. The reason for that here is a few subscribers said, no, it's not good to take the phone inside because the mobile radiation is actually a bit, uh, you know, I mean, they are, uh, it may it may cause, it, it is like a fire hazard or something like that. But trust me, guys, that is actually a myth. If you want, you can cross check, you can Google it out. Mobile ra radiation doesn't cause any kind of fire. Okay, so the main reason why mobile is avoided so that people concentrate while filling the fuel. That is the only reason. Okay, and next thing here is you know, uh, once I go home, I'll test the power 100 because they claim it's uh, zero ethanol and the uh, normal fuel, I mean, like as per the government mandate, it is 20% uh, ethanol. Let's find it out. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I just filled the fuel uh, half liter in each. So this side it's HP power 100 and this side HP normal okay so I came out of the petrol bunk and I'll be going home and continue with this uh, with the test I'll be right back okay guys I just reached home and have uh, set up um, uh, these two fuels on the table here uh, one is the power 100 from HP and then uh, normal fuel so power 100 from HP is 180 rupees okay and uh, it has um, 100 octane and um, the normal fuel is 103 rupees and it has 91 octane and uh, both the fuels are actually uh, in the metal bottle so and as per the petroleum act 1934 point number eight you can cross check on google uh, we can actually uh, purchase fuel in loose yeah, either in metal bottles and or in the jerry can and the limitation is up to 30 liters that's the maximum what a single person can take without any license transport storage and not for sale okay that is how exactly the law is you can actually cross check uh, okay so if you have any doubts you can check the law right so now i've got all the setup here so let's start quickly here because i don't want to prolong this video because last two videos now were a little bit lengthier 27 minutes and 40 minutes so i actually listen to my subscribers you know uh, comments and i listen to their comments and their suggestions so that i get something uh, of your liking so uh, i'll be right back Okay guys, so let's start with this now. Uh, first thing I'm going to uh, pour water in this. Uh, so just a minute, yeah. Because I need to make uh, green water so that the differentiation uh, can be done. Just like the previous videos what we had. Exactly, okay, so a lot of color is coming up here guys. Wait, wait with me. Because if I just put a plain water, you know that you know you can't make out easily. And especially in the video, um, it's very very important for us to have this differentiation and just to again reiterate this thing will not have any kind of impact the green color food color will not have because food color will not have any impact in our tummies only so why would have why would it have impact on the fuel because one comment came that you know came came across saying that you know the ethanol level will go up and that is absolutely not correct okay so the green color is ready here all right, so let's quickly go ahead and uh, you know pour the normal XP normal fuel, which is 91 octane fuel. Okay, so these are super tight bottles, guys. Super tight bottles. So now the calculation is: first thing, I'm going to put 25 ml of water. Okay, so God's grace, you know, I have very steady hands, so it won't shake. So that's the reason I don't use funnel because I have pretty steady hands. So let's get it up to 25 ml here. Okay, bear with me. Okay, so let me show you if it is 25%. Okay. Yeah, this is exactly 25% water. So the standard um, ethanol testing um, you know um, fuel a uh, fuel water uh, ratio is one part water and three parts uh, fuel 
Okay, so you can Google it out because some people say, why can't you just put 10 ml and then 100 ml of uh, fuel? Because that way, the, uh, the, all the extraction of uh, ethanol cannot get into the 10% of water. Water won't, I mean, there'll be no sufficient water to extract the ethanol. So 25% and three parts of uh, like uh, fuel will have sufficient, uh, you know, uh, like su sufficient quantity of water is there to extract all the ethanol from the 75 ml of fuel. So now let's go ahead and fill up to 100 uh, ml here. So basically 75 ml of fuel. So I'm just filling it up and this is a normal HP fuel. And then what I'll do is I'll just going to put this into the shaking bottle and shake it. So I'm just getting up to 100. And then I'm going to cover these, uh, you know, measuring tubes so that, you know, it will not evaporate because the fuel is volatile. Okay, now I'm not shaken. So it is now standing at 100 percent exact you can see 100 percent now water is actually 25 percent it's already getting mixed here but when i shake it it'll come out let's see how many percent of ethanol is there in there in this so let me just put this uh composition into this shaker so i've kept two shaker bottles separately because again i got one more comment saying that if you keep it two separately the margin of error will be less so I will listen to my subscribers comments because uh, if you are open to feedback that's when you can actually learn your knowledge doors will be always open but if ego comes in in between saying that you know why should I listen to him you will definitely not learn so always even if uh, a kid is saying something nice I'm going to actually listen to the kid so that is how I am so now it's there in this shake a bottle so now I'm going to shake it so generally what people do is they just put it in and then they just let it settle I mean uh, that will not give exact figures so I've actually shaken this bottle pretty much now I'm going to put it back into the cylindrical tube here the measure cylindrical measure and now I'm going to allow it to settle down okay now just in a matter of few seconds here the fuel has actually evaporated a little bit if you can see that so I'm going to add more fuel and I'm going to again shake it and then let's see what happens so there's a normal fuel Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to close this completely. Okay, and also one more thing, my room is well ventilated, guys. So nothing to worry about it. So it is completely well ventilated. So I'll just keep it aside and I'm going to, you know, put something on top of it so that it will not evaporate. Okay, I'll be right back with the XP100. Okay guys, now let's start with the uh, HP Power uh, 100 here. So I think in the little bit, uh, few few seconds back, I ha I might have told you, told you know, XP 100. Because I don't know why I'm obsessed with XP 100. Because it's doing great on my bike. That's the reason I'm totally, you know, obsessed with that. So now let's quickly get, uh, get along here uh, with this Power 100. Uh, so now first thing, I'm going to put 25 ml of water. Okay, 25 ml. I just need a little bit more. And water is over. Just give me one minute. Okay, I'll just pour quickly here. I'll have to make a little bit. Uh, what I'll do is I can just actually put a little bit water itself because enough of color is there. So that is fine. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now I'll just show you. It is exactly 25 ml okay 25 ml let me zoom see 25 ml okay perfect okay now i'll just quickly put hp power 100 75 ml in this particular tube oh these bottles are damn tight man damn tight okay now i'm going to pour 75 ml of power 100 this power 100 and xp 100 have such a strong smell man 
okay it's really really you no know, hot very very strong smell compared to that other one okay now it is exactly 100 ml now okay so it's come to the 100 ml mark okay now i don't see any ethanol actually but let me shake this up yeah so i'll be using a different bottle now a different bottle let us see what happens so that i can shake this i don't use funnel guys because as i told earlier got pretty steady hands my college days you know exercise in gym is actually helping me to have steady hands maybe that is the only reason what i can think of okay now let's quickly shake this oh i'm just putting some other okay okay now i'm going to shake this let's see what happens let's see who will win xp 100 or power 100 because xp 100 also you had uh, 0% ethanol in this so the heavy weights of fuel is actually power 100 and xp 100 i strongly feel that there'll be a you know a uh, tie between um, power 100 and xp 100 oh, now let's have a check what's going to happen what is the result out now i think this has some ethanol guys i think this has some ethanol that's what i strongly feel oh god this has ethanol okay so let me put little bit more fuel because i see there's a one point little bit is evaporated so i'm going to put little bit and again i'll shake it in okay okay just bear with me i need to concentrate guys perfect okay cool so it's 100 and now let's see what's happening if it really has uh, you know okay just bear with me okay now i'm going to put it aside and i'm going to close this so that there'll be no evaporation which will take place absolutely no evaporation so you can just check it is lying from past for 10 minutes it's still at 100 100% mark and you can also see the color difference power 100 has little bit darkish uh, orange and this is light orange okay already it's showing really high on this ethanol level and the normal hp this is looking like you know it is at around zero ethanol but let's see let's wait for it okay uh, i'll be right back um, maybe i'll just leave like you know half an hour now and i'll be right back okay okay guys the results are out uh, so towards your left side we have uh, hp power 100 and then hp normal uh, so now uh, absolutely no decrease in the uh, you know um, like you know there's no evaporation because i've actually covered it now if you have a check here earlier you remember i actually put 25 ml of water now after mixing with ethanol it has risen to this level so now if i count it it's actually coming up to see it is 30 here this is 35 mark 36 37 actually 38 so it has gone up to 38 okay so this is 38 now let's have a check so i put 25 ml of water in uh, power 100 it is actually staying at exactly at 25 so basically this power 100 is zero ethanol okay now let's come to the calculation bit here now let me show you the calculation guys okay now this is a calculation okay so basically the hp power 100 i just put uh, 25 ml of water so water plus ethanol so as uh, it did not uh, uh, i mean it didn't raise to any 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 other you know measurement there so it is standing at 25 so absolutely nothing zero so zero divided by 75 ml of uh, fuel into 100 is 0% so this is 0% ethanol in this 
okay now coming to hp normal so it was 38 again i'll just show you here so this is 38 after mixing with ethanol so this is 38 so 38 so ethanol minus water is 13 so that is 25 uh, minus you know uh, 38 minus 25 is 13 so 13 divided by 75 so 13 divided by 75 uh, into 100 is 17.33 percent so basically uh, the hp normal is 17.33 percent ethanol and the xp 100 is zero uh, sorry hp uh, power 100 sorry guys uh, i'm actually getting xp 100 time and again i don't know i'm obsessed with xp 100 i think right now even the power 100 is exactly the same like xp 100 so there's absolutely no difference so that's about it guys uh, so uh, the end result is in power 100 no ethanol it's completely zero and this is uh, this has 17.33 uh, ethanol approximately okay so now that's about it guys okay so hope uh, the next video will cover other fuels and i hope you like my video and if you like my video please hit the like button share and subscribe okay and then you know uh, share it among your friends and family members because uh, not many people will be knowing what's happening with their bikes um, they are just you know uh, without knowing they're putting uh, high ethanol content in the bike in e10 vehicles which are not compatible with e20 uh, but right now uh, they are actually mixing 17 point something like that okay so eventually it will come to 20 percent and one more thing it depends on refinery to refinery eventually they're going to hit the 20 percent uh, target and uh, maybe next year something they are looking at 27 as well so that's how it is so we need to work around so the next video what you're going to get is for other fuels and also i'm going to put a solution as well as to what is a workaround this um, you know e20 uh, debacle what is the workaround i will please uh, you know uh, tune into my channel uh, and also subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification. Okay, that's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. Zubi the Rider, signing off.